Hey everybody, welcome to What's Cooking with Captain Ron. Come on in, let's see what's going on. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to What's Cooking with Captain Ron. It's game day today. Ooh. Getting ready to start watching some football. We're gonna do some chicken lollipops today for you um, on the big green egg. We're gonna show you how to French them. We're gonna show you how to cook them. And we're gonna show you how to eat them. They're gonna be awesome. Let's get started. And this is how you open a bag of charcoal. It's voodoo, people. It's voodoo. All right, we got the charcoal in there. Um, you know, we use a couple of different ways to light our charcoal. Last week, we used some Fogo starters. Um, this week, um, I'm using a product by JJ George Outdoors. It's their grill torch. Um, you just hook up a propane canister to it. It's real simple. Simply turn it and light it. Now we're entering our prep stage of the cook. Uh, like I said, we're gonna do chicken lollipops. So what that involves is it involves Frenching a drumstick. You're just gonna cut the top off of it a little bit, push the skin down, cut the tendons out of it, and we're gonna season it up. We're gonna use this Wasi's uh, Vintage Sunshine Rub. It's, it's great stuff. It really pairs well with chicken, so I really like it. And once at the end, we're gonna coat it up with this cost sauce. It's a barbecue sauce. Um, cost sauce is, is a real good product that I like to use. I use it a lot in my home cooking. Um, this is my new favorite toy. My new favorite toy. Uh, I got a new, this new knife, uh, it's called a Rich Axe. And um, I tell you what, it wasn't a ton of money and it's a really good knife. I really like it a lot. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started and let's do this. All right, so we take our chicken leg. You're gonna go about an inch down or so. And just cut all the way around. You wanna make sure you're cutting all the way through to the bone. So there's tendons in there and they're nasty little tendons. They're gross. All right, so you cut all the way around. Make sure you got it. You just peel this top skin off. You're just gonna peel it all off. It's kind of a little bit of a chore to do. Pull it off, all right, and you just set it aside. Now, what I do, I take my knife. I like to be nice and clean. I like to take my knife, cut a little bit of this off, okay? And I do this. And it takes this little knob right at the top, takes it right off as well. I keep these scissors because there's all little tough pieces in here that sometimes you have to trim like that and save all of this stuff, okay? Don't get rid of it. I personally, I save it. Anytime I trim in vegetables or, or chicken, I save it all in the freezer in a plastic bag. About once a month, I make stock out of it. So the other thing you wanna do, cut a flat spot on the bottom so that when you're making them, they stand up nice and straight, just like that, okay? So now we've got the top cut off. I'm gonna push that skin down, push the meat down. Be careful, because there's a sharp tendon in here. It's right here, okay? You don't want to cut your finger on that. You can see it right there. It's kind of a sharp tendon. So we're going to take that. I like to cut that out too. All right. And all this other junk that's unsightly and ugly, take your shears, take your knife, whatever you want to use. Just cut it all out of there and set it aside. You don't want any of this stuff in your cook. It's gross. You want to have pretty food. I like pretty food. People eat with their eyes first, so that's important. All right. So we get all of this crash stuff off of here. <laughs> Gotta keep this G-rated for everybody, right? And sometimes when you're filming folks, it doesn't go quite as easily as it does on the real TV shows. But you cut all of this stuff off and you get yourself a pretty chicken leg. It's a, it's a French, it's, the technique is called Frenching, all right? And that's what we've got here. All right, it's called a lollipop. Can you guess why it's called a lollipop? That's why. We've got our chicken legs, we got them lollipop, we got them Frenched. You can see they got a nice handle here. I like to keep it pretty, so what I do is when I'm cooking them, I just put a little aluminum foil around the bone here, okay? We don't want to cover the meat. We're gonna put it around each bone. It just keeps it prettier. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's just me. I like to do weird stuff like this when I'm cooking. Once that we've got them all wrapped up like this, all right, we take our rub. Again, we're using Wasi's here for this one. Give them a good coat. You want it to stick. You want a nice, good flavor on each one of these things. Just give them a good shake. 
Um, the one thing I didn't tell you before is I let these sit in, uncovered in the refrigerator for about a, an hour or two. Um, the air, the dry air, it dries out the skin a little more. They're all seasoned up. They're coated nicely in their rub. Um, we're going to take them out to the big green egg. We're going to put them on there. It's running about 300, 325 degrees. It's perfect. We're going to make a nice crispy skin. They're going to come out so good. You want that skin to bite through when you want to do it, all right? Now, the egg's running along here at 325 degrees. We're going to put these babies on here, open her up. OK. You just got to do it. They're cooking them indirect. So we put them on. Just put them on. Give them a little space. You want them to have nice air around them. Oh, yeah. This is one already. Um, you can load them up. You can really put them on here pretty thick. They can even be touching. But I like to spread them out, make sure that I have nice room between them so that they can have all room to cook all around. All right. We're going to set these on. We're going to cook them to temperature. Temperature, all right? They're dark meat, so we want around 170 degrees. When they're done, we're going to pull them off. We're going to sauce them a little while before that, but we're going to do it. So we're going to close this up. We're going to let it sleep for a little while, let it cook, and we shall be right back. They've been cooking for about 45 minutes to an hour now. We're going to check our temperature. About 163 degrees. Good. So we want to take them to about 170, 175. What we do now, take them. We've got our cost sauce here. Any kind of barbecue sauce. You want to make sure each one is coated nicely, okay? Fully covered the meat. You don't have to get it on the bone, but you want to make sure the meat is covered real nice and good. Solid coverage, that's what it's about here. Game day chicken lollipops. They're all done. Let's check the temperature on them here. Okay. Wow, look at those suckers going. Make sure we got it. 161. There we go. 170. I knew it. Okay, we'll check a couple of them. Yep. We're good there. So we're gonna take these babies off. Oh yeah. Oh, they look good too. Ooh, they're hot. Wear some heat proof gloves, folks. Do as I say, not as I do, all right? So, we got our lollipops. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna serve them up, see what they got, see what the dolphins are doing, see what football is doing, we're gonna have us a good time. Come on in. The last thing we gotta do, obviously, we wanna take the aluminum foil off of these babies, and serve them up. Um, this way, you just want them to look pretty, you know? I know, pretty, football, whatever, it doesn't matter. I like stuff to look good when I serve it. So. My guests like to eat with their eyes, like I said. So that's what they're gonna do here. Aluminum foil, throw it away, it's just garbage. All right, so what I do is I like to unwrap it, take it off of here. If I can get it off of here, take it. Now what I do is I just throw it on the floor because I don't have to pick up after myself anyway. Oh wait, that's right, I'm not a TV chef. I actually have to clean up after myself. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I'll just leave it here this time. Okay, so we've got the last of them here. Now, the last thing that we have left to do is to dig into these babies. All right, so I got my crowd here. We're watching football, we're chilling out, we're having a good time, it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, my Dolphins just got done playing, they won. It's not very often I can say that, so <laughs> it's a good day for me. I hope that your team's doing well today. The Bears won, Lenny Lynn's happy. Um, last thing we have left to do is take a bite. You guys want to come in and grab one? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. That is delicious. I'm talking about really good. Mmm. That washi seasoning, the cost sauce on there, it's, it got nice and caramelized in the end when the barbecue was done. Oh, man. That is good. They seem to be disappearing quickly, too. So, before they're all gone, and I don't even get any more than that. Come on, guys, you're killing me here. I cook, I don't even get to eat. Anyway, listen, tune in again next week. The holidays are coming up. I know I promised it last week, but we had a little bit of difficulty, so we're gonna do a turkey this week on the big green egg. 
We're gonna show you how to do it so that your guests will have the most phenomenal Thanksgiving Day dinner ever since the Pilgrims landed on Plymouth Rock, baby. All right, tune in. Don't forget, tell your friends, subscribe, hit like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, all right? Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I love you. Take care, see you next time. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.